Kia ora, I'm Alistair Christie and in this video we're going to take a look at the new language server protocol in Red Studio or uh, Delphi in our case. Oops. So the language server protocol is the new backend for Code Insight and it has quite a lot of advantages including that it's in a separate process so it allows for more memory in Delphi and because it's in a separate process it's effectively running in the background so it doesn't uh, interfere with the performance of the ID which is all very nice. It was invented by Microsoft uh, and it's kind of an open standard and there's now a whole bunch of so but basically it, it, you have editors and you have if the editor supports um, language server protocols it can then support any number of, of languages which have a, a server implemented for them. So, and there's this, there's quite a lot, which is very good. And you can read about you know, the Wikipedia page and what have you. But let's have a look at, at it in action. So let's start with a new multi-device application. And a blank one is just fine. Add a button. And a list box. So this is the extent of my uh, user interface. And what we're going to do is we're going to list all the files in the downloads folder. So I need to use the um, IOUtils unit. So I can have a look in utils and we can scroll down and we see that it's found IOUtils. So the uh, code insight or code completion now supports sort of just search, searching for a substring in uh, what we're looking for, which is quite nice. So we can use system.ioutils and go file names is, a, is assigned t dot get files that's my downloads folder but I don't need the, the trailing backslash oops and normally I do control shift V on that um, to declare a variable but I just can just go var file names and I don't even need to specify a type and Oh, and we can see the error insight is actually giving me some useful information, which is excellent. Excellent. We do a for loop for files. In fact, I'm going to go var files and do oops add, and we want to extract the file name. So t Get file name. Ah, I wanted file name. Okay, so in fact, we don't need the beginning end, and we can run that. And it does indeed give us uh, all the uh, random files I've got in my downloads folder. And we see that error insight now supports the inlining of variables, which didn't didn't in 10.3, um, which basically meant I never used it. And yeah, it all works very nicely. Uh, it it feels different. So the the way it works, um, the error insight updates is, is it feels like a slightly different cadence to the old one. But I'm sure I'll get used to it. And yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. It's pretty nice and basically yeah it does mean that yeah in, in lining of variables and things like that is now a, a viable option in in code and you don't get you know a gazillion errors related to it so that's all i wanted to cover in this video i am very pleased with this uh, new addition to delphi so thanks for watching